The other thing I've been doing also is finishing Ozark season four. Now, bear with me. When it comes to series and stuff, especially when it comes to Netflix stuff, I tend to skim through a lot of it. So I maybe watch the first three episodes of four in full and then the rest of them because I kind of got the gist of the story. I'd, I'd kind of skip through some dialogue bits I'm not too bothered about with some, you know, um, uh, auxiliary, you know, whatever characters I don't really care too much for. But I have to be honest, right? This season for me wasn't the strongest, of course. That always happened because season one and two were so good. But it also was incredibly infuriating as a show to watch. Incredibly infuriating. And mostly because of Wendy fucking bird. Why has she not died? I do not understand that. And also, why have none of the bird family, direct bird family, suffered any consequences for their actions? None of their kids have died none of them have died it's just been plain sailing for the both of them for the most part yes other people next to them have died when these dad sorry when these um brother has died and whatever it may be and obviously the old guy that used to live next door um unfortunately passed away too but none of them directly has passed away none of them has lost a finger you know maybe uh, paralyzed whatever nothing has happened they get they seem to be immune from consequences yet everybody else seems to have to suffer the abuse and the turmoil and has to go through constant misery and just as they feel as if they like they're kind of pulling themselves out from the pit again bang they get slammed to the ground again this series has been infuriating i know people on social have been talking about jonah and how they hate the sun but i get it the son i get i get his reaction i get why he's being like this he's a teenage boy suddenly coming to a realization that his parents that he held up on a pedestal aren't necessarily the people that he thought they are especially when he finds out that they had harmed people in his family because he probably had that naive thinking where he thought you know like how um rory and Moore from the joe budden podcast even though joe budden fucked over so many other pe so many people along the way and did wrong by so many people or maybe they you know had bad experiences with him they never ever thought in their heads that that could happen to them they thought no joe would never do that to us because we're friends because we're boys because we're friends because he got our back but it's like nah if you can do it to other people you can also do it to you and i think what jonah's realizing is that all the stuff that his parents have done to others they're now doing to people within the family or people that they supposedly love or people that they're supposed to be meant to be looking out for so in his own head or his own way he is also rebelling against them which i completely understand and let's be honest too wendy bird is a manipulative psychotic woman to the ex 10th extreme and it's a good character as well because from the beginning she was very hesitant about um, Marty Bird getting into this um, line of business. But then slowly as time has progressed and she's gotten used to the trappings of that life or whatever it may be or the power it gives or the sort of um, adulation that it gives or the access, she's slowly but surely become more convinced about this way of life more so than Marty and doesn't see anything else other than it. But the other thing that's probably... A tragic thing about the series that's really good that they do really well to sort of depict is this weird naivety that they both have as a family that yeah they have as a couple and as heads of the family where they honestly think that all they have to do is one more job and they get out of it scot-free even though everybody that's been associated with this deal or that's lived within their kind of universe within this kind of drug dealing thing that's happening in the ozarks they've all kind of like had to pay the biggest price they somehow think that they're still going to drive away into the sunset and live a somewhat legitimate life after they've made whatever they've made for of this. It just doesn't work like that. Clearly something tragic should happen, will happen in the second part of season four because they split it into four, two seasons, sorry, into two parts. One part, yes, 14 episodes uh, split into seven seven parts, two parts, right? Whatever. Sorry, it's been seven episodes, two parts. My brain is fried. But you get what I mean. But yeah. The, when the, the, the lack of consequences directed Wendy Bird get pissed me off she's the most annoying character on there she's done so many things that would deserve her to get beaten up or to get pushed or to get run over or something whereas Marty Bird had to get gun bucked by the psychotic new crazy um, lieutenant for the Mexican cartel um, who I also think hasn't done too he hasn't been unhinged enough for me he came in a little bit unhinged but he hasn't done more I know already people are like, oh yeah he killed um, what's his name um he killed uh, Ruth's uh, nephew and Darlene 
but he hasn't done he should have done more i don't know why he came in crazy and psychotic but he kind of mellowed out too much for me of course by the end he of course kills darlene the nephew who, you know for that side of thing was really tragic that they both had to die like that with the baby wailing in the background that was really sad considering that they were trying to get out of it by that time it was too late and i think their card had already been marked um because you know that that crazy uh other lieutenant of the not of the mexican cartel basically didn't take a liking to them but jesus man why don't these guys get any direct consequences why are either of them still alive it doesn't make any sense especially if it's the last season i understand if it's going to continue but this is meant to be the last season and i don't know why either of them are still aren't dead or their kids aren't dead it just doesn't make any sense they'll probably end up killing ruth before they kill you know marty or wendy and it doesn't make any sense because if this is real life again it's not real life because it's a tv series i know but if it's a depiction of how a normal everyday couple with two kids and a dog can go from being, you know, model citizens to descending into the pits of organized crime and drug dealing and whatnot, someone has to pay a price. You don't just get out of it scot-free. There was a story that went viral a few months ago. I think during the beginning of the pandemic, this lady somewhere in the UK, I'm going to say Kent or something like this, really stand-up woman, normal lady, had somehow got herself involved in smuggling bricks of cocaine into the UK. I guess because the port was next to where she lived or she had some contacts. I don't know what happened. But essentially, she was making millions, millions a day, millions a week, like crazy amounts of money. And she was pretty smart about not spending too much, about living very modestly. Um, and she was just basically living a life. And somehow she ended up getting caught. Cool. But she got caught cool. and I think her and her boyfriend at the time or partner got double digit numbers in prison. But that's how it ends. You don't just deal that sort. You don't you don't deal. the. Uh, for instance, for, from what I'm sure of, if I remember correctly, the numbers that she was dealing with in terms of millions, I guess I think something like 30 million she'd made off the back of those deals. Right. Because I guess she was the person that maybe signed the final releases for the bricks to go through. And somehow she got caught, you know, mistakes happen or you just get caught. It is what it is. But she did get caught. And, you know she spent time in prison because she was dealing in crazy high amounts that are always going to attract attention you can't if you want to make a couple of grand you want to buy a car you want to go on a holiday i'm sure you could probably get away with it because police aren't gonna worry about you too tough but once you start actually moving tons of coke into a country or you start smuggling this smuggling that or offing people here or getting rid of your rivals there so you're going to attract the attention of law enforcement or you're going to attract the attention of people that you don't want to attract attention of and you'll pay the ultimate price and that's why i think sometimes you know western series that's the thing they don't get right compared to european series like gomorrah and whatnot right they are really good or even on grenade just really incredible french series um, i think in english it's called spiral it does really well in this kind of depiction of the under the criminal underworld it kind of presents people as human it's not just good or bad or black and white it's kind of a bit complex in terms of how they got in that position and why they're there what their motivations are blah 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 and also doesn't it also does the same thing for the police it doesn't paint them out to be that the saviors and the angels that come in to kind of rectify society no they're also flawed in their own way but what it always proves and what it always displays is that that life of crime generally you don't get hope you don't get to ride off in the sunset generally you pay the ultimate price whether it's losing a family member somebody close to you losing all your money or spending all your time in jail or ultimately dying that's what ultimately happens you don't just ride away into the sunset and i feel like in this one they put they're kind of gearing us up to witness the bird family be one of the only families that happens to ride out into the sunset and i just don't think that's it just it just it would make me too angry it would infuriate me too angry to suffer through what i had to suffer through or what we had to suffer through watching this series and then having to see people like ruth is a great character in this you know the bit where she screams um at the last episode um at marty about if they want to stop her they have to kill her because they've killed her nephew the one person that she loved for real oh man that was so good what a great actress that lady is man that like really really good such a powerful and visceral scene and just a little things like this like the scene on the boat you know what i mean just the the quiet sort of um shock and scare of it this is obviously one of the best seasons on the end of season three you know when he kills helen uh yeah but honestly check it out ozarks for me still really annoying that the wrong people keep dying first before the people that deserve to die should die but in terms of a series it was fairly entertaining and i'm glad i watched it can't wait for part two